A MFR cubed. Now we do part C. They say suppose the function G is given by this. K and M are constants. If G is differentiable, what are the values of K and M? So as we've said all year, I should not pay attention to K and M. I should pay attention to other clues. Well, I remember problems that we practiced where to determine that G is differentiable, I need this note. Uh, hold on a second. I need this note because before G can be differentiable, G must be continuous. Again, without a graph, I don't worry about this description. I use this definition, just like we did earlier. Except now we're doing it for G. So just like I did earlier, good notation. I find the limit as X approaches 3 from the left of G. So that's using this now. X is a little less than 3. This will be less than 3 plus 1 is close to 4. Square root of close to 4 will be close to 2. So this limit is 2K. I need to find the limit as X approaches 3 from the right of G. So here it is. So up here when X is a little more than 3, I'll have a little more than 3 times M plus 2. 3M plus 2. In order for, oh, sorry, I also have to find G of 3. So that's back here when X is equal to 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. That's 2K. These three must be equal for G to be continuous. G must be continuous for G to be differentiable. So I figured out an equation. It doesn't help me find K or M yet, but I can keep going at least. And if I write that equation down, the greater sees it, uh, the greater will give me one of the three points. So moving on now, I know that to be differentiable, I had to be continuous first, I figured that out. Now I ignore that because it's not a graph. I need this. I need to work on the derivative of G. So I need to take this formula for G and find the derivative. Well, K is a constant, so it doesn't do anything. This is the square root. The derivative of the square root of something is 1 over 2 times the square root of the something multiplied by the derivative of the something but the derivative of x plus 1 would simply be 1. So the derivative of this is this. They tell me that g is differentiable. So I can go ahead and put the equal sign right here near x equal 3. Normally I wouldn't put the equal sign until I prove that g is differentiable. But in this case, they told me G was differentiable, so the equal sign is okay. I need the derivative of this. M times X, that's a constant times X. The derivative will just be M. Plus the derivative of two is zero, so now I have this. So I use the definition now. The limit is X, the nice thing about this problem is that it seems like you're doing the same thing twice. The limit is X approaches three from the left of G prime means I'm plugging in a value of x that's slightly less than 3. So close to 3 plus 1 is close to 4. Square root would be 2. 2 times 2 is 4. That's 1 fourth k. So this limit is k over 4. When x is slightly more than 3, I'm using this. x is slightly more than 3. The value of g prime is exactly m. g prime of 3 goes back up to here. Plug in exactly 3, we get exactly k over 4. For f to be different, for g to be differentiable, these all three must be equal. Therefore, I have a new equation, m must equal k over 4. If I get that far, they'll give me the second of the three points. Now I have two equations with two unknowns, the green and the red from the earlier part. I can use these two to go find k and m. I will take the k over 4, put it in place of m. And now I use algebra to solve for k. I don't like fractions, so I first multiply both sides by 4. So 2k becomes 8k. The 4 here has to distribute. So the 4 times this will get rid of this, but the 4 distributes to give me an 8 here. If you can't quite see that, I'll write it out.
Uh, sorry, that should be a four. So the four distributes, you get eight K. Four distributing here, the fours divide out because these are all factors plus eight. Solving for k, subtract 3k from both sides. This side becomes, becomes 5k. k is equal to 8 over 5. I can now take this value of k, plug it back into here. So here's my formula. I'm putting 8 over 5 in place of k. Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the fraction's reciprocal. So this is 4 over 1, so I'm going to multiply by 1 fourth. So that gives me 8 over 20. You really don't have to reduce. You could simply leave that as an answer. If you had that um, answer, 8 over 20 equals m, you've got to have the equal sign. That would get you along with these. So these two blue boxes together get you the third of those three points.